Nope. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't believe I saw Jake Gyllenhaal's name announced for an Academy Award. Didn't happen, huh? Didn't happen. Are we okay, everybody? Jack and Jill's not in the mix? Is everybody all right? Or have we gone completely fucking mad? You're telling me that what Jack and Jill did on that screen, you're not going to single that out and raise it up as the ultimate performance by an actor of his generation? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. So maybe I've dipped back in and watched all the Hall films. Maybe I have. Bubble boy. <laughs> maybe. I think I, st- uh, I think I kicked it off at Brokeback. I think I used that okay. as the demarcation of like, actor. this man has arrived. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. Highest level. Is that before the uh, Dustin Hoffman movie with Pieces of the Moon or what is it Which called? Which one's that? Uh, fuck. He's in a movie with a Hoff dog? With the Hoff brow? I'm just telling you, I saw what Jack and Jill did and it takes the game to the next level. I have to see this movie. So you can do whatever you want. You can take it forever you want. I don't believe I heard Jack and Jill's name called at this ceremony. <laughs> so you're going to tell me that you're going to fucking go up into the Kodak. You're going to celebrate excellence in male acting and Jack and Jill ain't going to be in the building. Okay. Not watching it. Not watching a lot of things from what I've been seeing on the television. If you know what I'm talking about, not watching a lot of things anymore. NFL. Cause you're making it up as you fucking go along. And it'd be probably best if we stop talking about that right now. Probably be best if we stop talking about that right fucking now. Didn't make an act common to the game. Oh, I'm sorry. Is diving towards the fucking end zone not common to the game of football? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. (laughs) I'll just watch this thing and you do this thing and we'll just have utter, complete fucking chaos in the universe from top to bottom. Well, you didn't make an act common to the game. I suppose diving towards the end zone to score. I thought that was the fucking point of the game. So common. Wicked common. The most common of commons. So common. Oh, look at him. He's diving for the end zone. Ooh, uncommon. Uncommon. No, it's the point of the game. Oh, you're telling me the receiver that leads the league in touchdowns is diving towards the end zone to get another one and sign the biggest contract in sports history? Rock Nation, respect. Not common. <laughs> that was not an act common to the game. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's not common to the game of football. I thought that was the point of the fucking game. You start over here and you're trying to get down there. But let's play it. We'll make it up as we go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll make it up as we go. It's totally cool. It's totally cool. Um, All right. I'm sorry you lost. Never again. I will never watch what? another moment of it. Really? Deleted all of my fucking don't show. I don't want to hear another word no, about it. you just need a... You just Call me and tell me who won the Super Bowl. I'll be like, great, did they? Who gives a fuck? But Done. then next season you'll start all over Next again. season ain't shit because there ain't going to be no next season. I'm already taking suggestions for hobbies. <laughs> what about own? getting out into nature? What about taking all that stupid time and just getting out into nature? <laughs> what about... Photography. <clears throat> you can, it can still be an indoor activity. Could still be an indoor activity. Yeah, like shooting. Shooting. <laughs> like indoor shooting. Indoor skeet shooting. Maybe oil paintings. Should maybe you um, sculpting? Writing? Writing. Poetry. Get back to my poetry. <laughs> I think you should get back to my, my no, music reviews. I think you could yeah. I would get say, back to my reviews. Yeah. You could um you could you could write more. Yeah. What's this? Panda bear? Is this an, is this a <laughs> musical outfit? Let me let me listen to this and review it. I mean, never again. Dead to me. Los Angeles police are warning of a surge in tow truck bandits who arrive unsolicited at accident scenes. They they tow away the cars and then hold them for ransom. LAPD Detective Benjamin Jones says the bandits (laughs) listen to police scanners and often get to the scene of accidents before authorities. They tell the drivers the tow is covered by insurance, provide paperwork to sign that gives them control of the cars, which are held until the driver agrees to pay rates of up to $4,000 for like towing and storage. Really a lot of... Doreen um, Sanchez of the National Insurance Crime Bureau says similar scams exist elsewhere. You know who else listens to police scanners? Jake fucking Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal and Nightcrawler. He listens to him. Whole goddamn movie. I have to see this. Okay, you're telling me that this woman gets on an elevator with another man. They're both alive. The elevator doors close. The elevator doors open. The man is dragging the woman off the elevator. And your response is, we don't know what the fuck happened. 
You're going to be the same people responsible for when my player catches the ball and dives towards the end zone. You're going to be the same outfit responsible for the video footage of watching it. You've already shown you don't understand things that are visual. You've already proven that you can't handle it. They got on the elevator. They were both standing there talking. The elevator doors closed. The elevator doors reopened, and he was dragging her off the elevator. What happened? We don't know what happened. We do. We know what happened. It's the same outfit responsible for that is going to watch video of my player diving towards the end zone. He didn't make it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Not on us. What's on you, bro? That's our rules, dog. What's the rules? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to watch this I'm footage. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have sorry. to watch this. I'm sorry. It's making it up as we go, everybody. Everyone's just talking, writing, just putting it out there. This is my opinion. Hey, you, 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 just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Thirsty. People just thirsty throwing those opinions. Out. Just chill. Just chill. You on that trivia crack? You on that? Everybody's on that. That's what everyone's going to do. They're cheating. Director James Cameron, or James Cameron. <laughs> I love our movie episode. This is our movie episode. I guess so. Well, we're celebrating the uh, nominations and such. Are you done, though? Listen. Because <laughs> I'm fine. If you want to just... No, I, you got to hand it. It's the, it's the 15th. It's Thursday. This, if I, can, I can't even... We would need a supplemental episode, not only for me to like, Well, I mean, we, maybe we everything. need to, but I would need, and to, we would have, need, I I would need like, to see more of it. I am I, from... I mean, there were points Monday and Tuesday where people had to come take me outdoors of buildings I was in and then just be like, you got to breathe, baby. got to breathe with me because I had taken, <sighs> I mean, the game got taken to such a different level on Sunday where like 49 people were called. There was like from Monday into Tuesday into, I mean, deleting everything, putting everything away, packing everything up, starting my search for what I'm meaning. Be bird watching, meaning literally shaken, the very essence of my soul and my being on this planet earth in this time space continuum of what is what is this what is this what is this what is truth what is this it, to the the very nature right here so deep how did your dad take it my dad um my dad at one point I shouldn't go into this too much when we were um when a a play in question was challenged um i had already knowing that the touchdown was coming in a minute i was already planning for the rest of the game i was doing my pre-pro to finish this game out for the victory i was imagining a ball being placed at the half yard line first in goal my father was imagining that the the man would be given a touchdown for his efforts for his extreme athletic efforts that he would be given a touchdown and we were discussing the vagaries of that i was going with First and goal at the half yard line. His call from Haverhill, Massachusetts was touchdown. Um, they had a different view, a very different view, the league. The ones that watch the videos and then tell us what happened in the elevator, they had a different idea of what happened on the field. And they said, not touchdown, not first and goal, incomplete pass. Play on, friends. Well, it's wicked hard to play on because that was fourth and two, and we made the fucking play of a fucking lifetime. Put it all out there. Put it all out there. I'll tell you one thing. If you ever see Tony Romo, I'm going to shake his hand. I'm going to look him dead in the eye. I love that man. I love that man. Love that man. <laughs> That's good. That's good that you love him. But <laughs> but the game and everything else, it's dead to me. I won't even... I won't, but maybe I won't see him for 20 years. I might not recognize him. So, because you'll never see Because I'll never see his the aging anything. process. I've been watching him and watching him since he was a, since a young man. I, I'll have to, someone might tell me, do you know that was Tony Roman just walked past you in that airport? I'm sorry. The name well, rings. I mean, the name just rings the fact bell. that you're just being faced with the fact that the thing, it, that, it's, that it's rigged. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking. No, I don't, I don't think it's on a, your mind. No, I don't think it's a. It's a. How can people <laughs> see something now? I don't and and argue those when when it's well, Jonathan. When you have a the collection of technology of, that you have, the ability to see what you see, and I be can, so utterly convinced that these people have access to the same, if not more, you know, in depth uh, evidence of that, and then to go completely polar. 
that what what other what other reason comes to mind John, like, at first when you see something which is that this is a a sham this is a it doesn't I, it's this is they're just they're just deciding as they're, is the beautiful nuance of life i can only i can only compare that to the fact that all of hollywood has come together and decided to bestow upon <laughs> itself nominations <laughs> and first of all for jack and jill they should have stopped making movies after they saw him in nightcrawler given him a special honorary trophy for his performance and then, then the made an announcement we're not making movies for the rest of this year because what we've seen here has basically there's no point in making other films if he chooses to make more, that would be great. We'll get to see those. Instead, they decided, let's pick the five people that shined the brightest at their profession, at the craft of acting. And somehow, in a list of five people, Jack and Jill, currently on Broadway, sits and watches these nominations and says, was my name not mentioned among these people? That's life, dog. People see what they see. It's just, it is what it is. We move on. We breathe. We watch birds. We get to nature. We get into bird watching. We get into bird watching. There are so many species of birds. Did you know that? What if you got into um, getting tattoos? Uh, well, I'm getting a tattoo, a chest piece that says an act common to the game. I'm getting that on my chest. So every day I'll look in the mirror and I'll remember what Des Bryant did and that will say an act common to the game. So you're going to get it backwards. So it, you backwards. Can read it in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. and so when I meet him, I'll, how will I show it? I'll be like, grab a mirror. Here, come stand, stand with me. Stand, stand with me for the me. selfie. Stand behind me. Okay, you got it? <laughs> See in the mirror? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Director James Cameron has announced his upcoming and highly anticipated. Illinois residents can now formally suggest a new medical condition that could benefit from medical marijuana. The Illinois Department of Public Health is accepting pet petitions through the end of February. A blank petition is posted on the state's medical cannabis website. The Illinois law lists dozens of conditions and diseases that now qualify a patient to use medical marijuana, um, including cancer, glaucoma, HIV, hepatitis C. Um, some states uh, have allowed other conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder, arthritis, migraines, insomnia. Other states like California have even allowed it for even more things like um, NFL existential crises and uh, such. I brought in a video of that play, showed it to a doctor without speaking any words, and they pushed over a medical marijuana recommendation to me with tears coming out of their eyes. Uh, now, the Illinois medical cannabis... Fuck time. <laughs> Fuck everything. Seriously, <laughs> fuck everything. It's what it is, John. And I thought that you set the parameters up for a field. You put a time clock on. You get rules because in this fucking this world no. is such sheer fucking chaos. As human beings, as as we we strive to give it some shape or form, we have to have to give it a narrative to, or just or like, what are we doing? You have to well, try yeah. to 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 give it a, a construct. So I imagined on this field of play, I tricked myself into believing. Well, there's there's rules, and then there's this is this, and I tricked myself. Yeah. But I woke up, baby. <laughs> I woke up. I woke up. <laughs> well, then that's a good thing. It's a wonderful thing. I've never felt freer in my life. I've never felt better. I was standing right about here, or right over there, actually. Yeah. And when they came back out and they said, uh, that's, that's an incomplete pass, it was almost as if you took a 20 strip of the finest LSD ever known to man, dipped that into a small beaker of some of that sweet, sweet Peruvian ayahuasca, <laughs> took that, rolled it in some cinnamon sugar, and then took some DMT and wrapped it up and just said, hey, baby, take this. I'm free. It's all love. It's all about love. All you need is love. Somebody told me that. Somebody. Somebody told me that. It's the simplest of messages, and I, I received that <laughs> loud and fucking clear on Sunday afternoon. Loud and fucking clear, NFL. I heard you. 
It's just love, man. It's not hate. It's not <laughs> boiling rage. It's not fucking spending hours and hours reviewing and replaying both in your mind and on your television. It's not discussing. It's not yelling. It's not scouring the internet and getting every personal opinion of every motherfucker that puts something on goddamn fucking Twitter. I'm going to tell you something about this motherfucking shit. All of this stuff has taken everything and just spun it out of control. Yeah, well, because people can just gain oh, traction. Oh, yeah, they can gain it. Gain oh, they gain it. Anything. They gain it. Yeah. They vine it. Yeah. They tweet it. Yeah. They gain it. But I learned something, dog. It's all about love. Because <laughs> I took that concoction that they fed me on Sunday afternoon. It just opened me up. I went out and I looked out at the universe. This fucking vast, infinite universe. We're just a blip, baby. You don't think there's other life forms out there, dog? We are standing here. I'm watching this game, but really what I was doing, I was spinning out of control in outer space. I'm on a fucking planet that's out in the middle of nowhere spinning. And when they said incomplete pass, I sat back down on this couch. I turned the TV off and I said, I closed my eyes and I just went there. It's all about love. I want to thank the NFL. I want to thank Mr. Goodell because you showed me something. Um, you taught me something. You taught me something. It's uh, it's brutal. Uh, it's brutal to care. Uh, yeah, dude. It Is hurts it, to care. It, well, I, you know, it's a comedy podcast, and we hope that you care about it, because um, uh, we know that we do. And the the bottom line on that is that thank you for coming and listening to episode four hundred and forty four. And by doing that, it allows us to do 445, and it allows us to do that in that city. Was that city by the bay? Is that city by the bay? What's yeah. that there? Uh, January 24th, Saturday, at around 4 p.m. Uh, I mean, this is like going to be amazing for me. I'm already, I'm already in that headspace. I'm going to go up into the fucking, I'm going to get out in one of those national parks. I'm going to look up at those trees and be like, I'm going to hug a tree, because that's what I'm about right now. I'm about pine cones. In fucking realness. You know how many species of birds there are? I looked it up on Sunday night. I'm looking it but up. But 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I started when I was still up, on the internet. Started I, was, researching I started birds. researching birds. There's like a billion fucking birds. Different kinds of beautiful birds. And what you can do is you can watch them. You can learn about them. You can listen to them. It engages all of your senses. And you know what it is? It's fucking real. It actually They has. don't make it up as they go. They're just living. You coming into their world. You respect them. And you let them shine. And it's amazing. They can't take it away from you. They can't fuck with you. <laughs> you respect them and they respect you. It's a beauty. It's nature. It's the sights and sounds and smells of nature. Whoever put this all here, whatever mystical, whatever, whatever she did, whatever, whatever she, whatever she did. did that created this, we just get into the wonder of it. We don't fake the funk. It's love right there in the pine cones. I'll get right down on the ground. I'll talk to an ant after that show, dog, because I went deep into the cosmos because he didn't make an act common to the game, a.k.a. a football move. Somehow, diving towards the end zone to score a touchdown is no longer a football move. What are we playing the game for? Today's game will be played by new rules. We're all trying to get back to the 50-yard line. And the team that goes backwards the most, no. <laughs> it's the end zone. You're trying to get the ball into the fucking end zone. It's the only, Jonathan, the only rule of the game. Football 101 for dummies. I'd sit down, somebody say, hey, Hey, Tibetan monk, is this your first game? Yes, what we do. I say, what we do, dog, is get the ball into that fucking end zone. Well, the monk says to me watching the game, didn't your tall friend who made the most amazing catch in the world, wasn't he trying to get into the end zone? And I'd say, yes, <laughs> Tenzig. <laughs> yes, he fucking was. Well, then why did the other man... Tenzig. Tenzig. Listen to me. This is your first and last football game. It's my thousand and five millionth and last. It's your first and last. Let's go for a walk, shall we? <laughs> let's let us let's let's go talk to some ants. Let's go talk to ants because it makes more fucking sense than what they're doing over here. 
Oh, Seth. So if anybody wants to let me know, I guess there's more games to be played. I wish all the participants the most wonderful of luck. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It means shit. It means nothing. We won the trophy. I got a car. It doesn't mean anything. Love means something. Um... Eight eight eight. See you in. Eight four two two three five seven. Uh, buy your tickets. We'll see you. you yeah, see that's gonna you that's gonna week. be awesome. And, and thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, go to the website. Birch, Seth's volumes, clips, life. Just, just, just. Enjoy nature. Enjoy nature. <laughs> Take care of it. Respect it. It's all we have. It's all we have left that's real. Everything else. Everything else. Seatbelts.